Over the past few decades, fans have seen the NBA grow and evolve at a remarkable pace. Recently, Kiki Vandeweghe and Dennis Scott got together to compare the style of play of the legendary Michael Jordan to current superstar Kobe Bryant in this episode of NBA Evolution. Michael Jordan, perhaps the greatest basketball player who ever lived. He once had 10 triple doubles in 11 games. He could beat you any which way you chose. He was like a surgeon, just carved you up every single night. If there was anybody close to MJ, it's this man right here. Kobe Bryant, the Mamba, Los Angeles Lakers, still has hops after 17 years of playing in the NBA. This guy knows how to finish a game. He knows how to beat you. Hi, I'm Kiki Vandeweghe, along with Dennis Scott, and this is NBA Evolution. I'll tell you, we're talking about two of the greatest players who ever played this game. And the thing that stands out to me most is first their competitiveness. These two guys were ultimate competitors. The second thing is, which is underrated, is their footwork. Great mid-range games, Dennis. Great footwork, and you hit it right on the head. Two guys that hate to lose in anything. They work hard, they work on their game, they work on the outside game, they post up, their footwork. The way they set their man up to get to where they want to go on the floor, impeccable. You know, I was talking to Kobe Bryant one time, and I asked him, Kobe, define yourself, and he said, I win basketball games. <laughs> That's just it. And it's really true. Both these guys know how to close off a game. If it's close, just give it to one of them. We've got MJ. Look at this. His guy is just lost. And then he fakes him. He's so patient. He's so under control. His balance is so good. And then, of course, the picture perfect. It's a great follow through. And Kiki, what people have to understand, with well, Michael Jordan, you don't see a whole lot of shaking and baking. You see head fakes. You see ball fakes. It keeps your man on his heels. Now you can knock down your shots. It's interesting about Michael Jordan. He obviously could finish. And watch this. Over oh. David Robinson and Cummings, that dunk is unbelievable. You just, you don't see that very often. Over great shot blockers, this guy could elevate. But the thing that you said, he kept his game extremely simple. He beat you simple ways and just took advantage of your weakness, but really took advantage. Well, the reason it is because attack mode. We use that phrase a lot. And these two guys talking about Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, they want to come at you all game long, take no possessions off. Let's come into the present with Kobe Bryant, probably the greatest player in the last decade and still doing it today. He can go by anybody, just give him the ball, he can create a shot anytime. They don't call this guy the Mamba for nothing. No, the Mamba strikes all the time, and that's what you like and appreciate about Kobe Bryant. Each year he's brought something new to his game, mid-range pull-up, one dribble pull-up, elbow in, follow through, look at that picture-perfect jump shot. So, Dennis, let's take this conversation of these two great superstars to the court and look at what they're really doing. Okay, starting with MJ. Oof. What he yeah, oh. you can't guard him, doesn't matter. Help, what somebody doing. come help. <laughs> <laughs> what he did was, again, you have to respect his drive, you have to respect his jump shot. He would step towards a defender at a 45-degree angle here. Now, the defender had two choices. Either he could stay or he could come toward him. You had to come toward him because he had the jumper. If you move back, okay, he could rise up. Now, what he did was, as he stepped towards you and you froze, he kept going. Right. And then stopped on a dime and rose for the mid-range J. And that's a, a great point, Kiki. And the reason those guys did that is to put pressure on you and see how you were going to move your feet. So after they get you going right, you got one jab, or you don't go for it. The second jab, you go for it. Now this third one is right here. Now this foot's past you. If you people at home, if you were to jab and then went with the left, that's a travel. You see a lot of young Good people point. doing that. So Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, they know where they want to get. They want to get to that elbow area. So it's jab, step by the guy. Now you're past them. Dribble, dribble, step back. Now the defense comes, just pump fake. The guy runs by, gather yourself, knock down shots. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, their footwork. They don't play with the ball a lot. They use their footwork to get them open so they can get to their sweet spots. What's underrated about these two guys is they're like surgeons out on the court. They keep it simple, but they just carve you up in any way possible. 
I don't know who's going to be better. I don't know who I would want to take the last second shot, but I'll tell you what, any two guys in this world, I give it to one of those guys, and that is the evolution of basketball.